If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if nothing's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill could pass to nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. Good morning, everybody. Professor Slabs here. I got a special episode for y'all today. Let me see how many of y'all can guess. For those of y'all that just guessed, we out there to catch some grass shrimp. You guess right. We finna catch some grass shrimp. I'm finna show you guys how to get some grass shrimp. Florida freshwater shrimp. Yes, sir. I'ma get me a bucket full of them. And we gonna go skip some docks today and I'ma show y'all how to use grass shrimp under a float and how to pull out some of the biggest kind. Slide like baby. Stay tuned. How to catch some shrimp. Slide like stuff. Right in front of my net. Hopefully y'all can see that. Y'all see that grass right there? I'm gonna screw up this net crossing and I'm gonna show y'all what's on the inside. Check me out. Y'all them shrimps enough? Slap like baby. Grass shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. AKA chumps. A lot of people don't know that they swim in our lakes. Best bait you ever want to use. Last lady's time out and went and caught me a crayfish too. Is it crazy? They call him a mud bug, a crawdad, slide like baby. Fishing in Florida for you right there. Yes, sir, I never know what you might see while fishing in Florida, baby. Boy, slide like baby. With some french fries on the side. Side light, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm finna show y'all. Simple to put these grass shrimp on. They are small, but if you got these eagle claw hooks, these little golden hooks I tell y'all about, you'll know. Start from the bottom, just like this. Insert the hook, go all the way down. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. And that's all you need to succeed. Slide light, baby. Y'all stay tuned. Grass shrimp always have been one of my top ways to catch brim, shell cracker, bass, catfish, you name it. If it's swimming fresh water in Florida, they'll eat a grass shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna show y'all also on, on more videos how to get out here with a 10 foot can pole. I can literally lean around the edge with a grass shrimp and hang some of the biggest kind. Y'all stay tuned, I'm gonna show y'all some more fishing. Grass shrimp, ladies and gentlemen. Only grass shrimp. Grass shrimp. I want you guys to understand, 
when your barber even just trembles a little bit, it's best for you to go ahead and put some steel in that fish. Because if you don't, if you let that barber go all the way down, it's tender, unless you have the depth set perfectly on how they're biting, they're gonna swallow that hook. Make the grass shrimp are small, very small, the bluegill and whatever kind of fish comes to eat it, it's, it's a quick inhale. So if you see your barber just moving off real slow or trembling, go ahead and put steel there. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna have a fish. Y'all stay tuned, let me go ahead and tie me another hook real quick because I just did exactly what I'm telling you guys not to do. Lost the hook, but it's all good. Finna tie another one, y'all stay tuned, and we finna put some more of these grass shrimps on the ears, baby. Slab life, baby. Fatties. Slap light, baby. Stay tuned for another one. Little sandwich, little sandwich, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, man. Even on the windy day, man, grass shrimp will prevail. Slat light, baby. Another invasive species I've been telling you guys about. Looks like a tilapia, but it's not. I think it's called. I think we stopped dancing for y'all. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. This is a Mayan cichlid. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. I call them freshwater mangrove snapper, and y'all can see why if the wind's not twirling. Hold on. Here we go. I call him the freshwater mangrove snapper. As y'all can see, he's red like it. If he opened his mouth, he got. He got some little dagger teeth in there too. <laughs> Hold up. They can be uh, common around Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. If you can get this wind stuck blowing. Let's get a close up right here. You can see those little teeth right there. That's why I call them the freshwater snapper. But you talking about something delicious, ladies and gentlemen. Something delicious. I know y'all around the world don't get to see these right here. This is a Florida thing right here. They are, I think they come from the Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I think they, they I think they native to the Amazon, South America. Invasive species of Florida, Mayan cichlid. Related to the tilapia. Sad like me. Ain't no telling what you catch in the jungle. My slogan, <laughs> I'm going to do my part to save Florida. Bucket he goes. Slide like baby. They are pretty though. Very nice looking fish. Y'all look at beautiful fish. Ladies and gentlemen, as y'all can see. Fair. But they are invasive. Look at the teeth. That's why I call them the freshwater snap. Slide like baby. Y'all stay tuned.
grass thing, but he couldn't get away. Another nice bluegill, ladies and gentlemen, on the grass shrub. Y'all see that one. The wind is out here whipping today. But you see the grass shrub still will prevail. Slide like baby. There's one. Little bitty bitty man. Grass shrub, ladies and gentlemen. You don't get no double take like them worms. You missed that first tap. Like that. Okay, let me show you what's gonna have, what's gonna have. A clean, clean hook. I'm talking about boy, look at that. So don't miss it. It's slide like baby. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'm finna show you guys one on one how to catch some of these Florida grass shrimp. Check it out. So remember, first thing you guys need to know, anytime you got a freshwater system and you see a lot of vegetation on the edge like you see right here, you can pretty much guarantee that there's some grass shrimp in there. I'm gonna show you guys how to catch them. All you need is a simple minnow net with the smallest rings you can find. Find these at Walmart and inexpensive, probably about 15 bucks to the most. I don't know exactly how much. But I'm finna show you guys how to catch some grass shrimp. Follow me. Now, you see this vegetation right here, ladies and gentlemen? That's where you want to screw up this net cross, like so. Scrub it across real good, lift it up. Peek in, move out all your grass, and there you have it. Those are some little ones right there. But he jumped away. Y'all can get the stick. All through that. Go all through that. Pull out your green. See if I can get some big ones for you guys. These right here, they also hang around those too. You just move around. Yeah, this grass right here, you go right through there. There you go. That's what you're looking for right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. That size right there, some of the best bait you ever want to use, and that's why they call them jumpers. But their actual name is grass shrimp. You put one of those on the hook, ladies and gentlemen, just hold on. This is a female right here. Y'all can see that she's holding eggs. Both of these are females. And you can see the little eggs that she's holding right there up under her stomach right now grass shrimp right here in the Florida outdoors a lot of people don't know they exist but I'm here to show y'all slab life baby all right ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys enjoyed today's segment I showed you guys how to go catch jumpers on the edge I showed you guys barber drops showed you guys invasive species I hope you guys enjoy Till next time, slam life, baby.
if you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake. Even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will be in space. When the barber goes down with target, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen.